The video editing software Vegas comes in two main categories, Movie Studio and Pro. One doesn't cost much and the other is really expensive. But what's the difference? It's kind of embarrassing for me to admit that I didn't know until now. It's one thing to read off the feature list, but it's another to have actual experience with the software. This year I spent a large part of my budget on WinRAR, so I didn't have enough money left over to renew my subscription of Vegas. Being unable to get a significant discount this time around, I was like, you know what, why not try using the home version instead? How bad can it be? Besides, it's the YouTuber and not his tools which defines the quality of his work. Long story short, you get most of the same things. Unless I mention it in this video, my experience with them has been the same, and the things that are missing aren't essential but could save you some time, and I feel have been omitted from the home version to make your life more difficult. And it has worked. My life is now a little bit less pleasant than it was before. But at least I have WinRAR. Bear in mind that while I've moved to the budget movie studio line, from that I'm using the middle platinum version. There's an even more basic version of Vegas that doesn't support stuff that I really need, like video stabilisation and 4K. It doesn't even have colour correct. Which I do use, but mostly just to make my videos thumbnails gaudy colours. Yes, that's right, I use Vegas to edit pictures with. Fight me. But yeah, I wouldn't sink as low as the basic movie studio edition for what I do because it would be too limiting, and the quality of my content would drop. So when you're watching this video, just note that I'm comparing Movie Studio Platinum with Vegas Pro. All versions of Pro seem to be the same, with more expensive versions you get extra programs that I've never needed, but just that you know I have moved from the Vegas 365 version. The other versions of Vegas last you forever but won't feature next year's new features. So what's the difference between Movie Studio Platinum and Pro? The biggest, most horrendous, most unforgivable omission in Movie Studio is the resampling. By default, Vegas will blur all of your frames together if they don't exactly match up with the frame rate set in the program. Resampling makes videos look absolutely horrible, and it's a telltale sign that it was made using Vegas and that its maker hasn't yet discovered how to disable resampling. Don't get me wrong, it serves a purpose, but should be left off unless you need it for that one specific niche reason, which is to give high speed footage a nice motion blur effect. In Pro, you can just go up to Video Properties and disable Resample by default, and you'll never have to worry about it again. But in the Movie Studio version, no such option exists. Instead, you need to remember just before you render your video to select every single video clip and to disable it manually. What a pain. And yes, it's caught me out a few times, but luckily I, as a skilled video maker, have spotted it before release, every time. So far. The real criminal detail here is that the Home Edition used to have the option to disable it, before it was removed sometime between version 11 and 14. And Magix know just how much people want to disable this option, since they proudly claim being able to disable it on a project-wide setting is a feature on all of their pro products. It's as though they're forcing this unwanted feature on by default to frustrate users into upgrading. And if you aren't then, please Magix, disable it in the next update. The next difference that has affected me is the batch processing. This means that you can render more than one video in one click. This is useful if you're wanting to extract several still images from a video timeline. Just select them like so, tools, scripting, batch render, and you can output it as however many different video or image files as you like. But with Home Platinum, you'll need to select one, render, then select the next, render, and so on. It wastes a lot of time, especially when making comparison shots. This isn't an option you'll need until you do, so many content creators probably won't ever notice. But it's a nice little shortcut to have for when you need it. And you won't know when you need it until you do. Like that time I split a 5 hour Assassin's Creed Origin soundtrack video into almost 200 different files. And I miss XAVC, it was my preferred render option of choice, which for some reason Movie Studio doesn't have. I instead have to use AVC and it takes longer. When testing it, it took about 40% longer, but I definitely feel that difference when making a longer video. And this is just at stock settings, which aren't quite good enough for my liking. But the higher you set the bitrate, the slower it becomes. A recent 7 minute video I made took almost 2 hours to encode, compared with about 15 minutes in Pro. Not acceptable at all, especially given how often I find myself in a rush to get a video out in time. I'm sure I'll eventually find some combination of settings that I'm happy with, but right now it's just not as good. And GPU encoding isn't an alternative, as it's as bugged as ever. When you place something into a Vegas timeline, it adds it to the project media for easy reference. From then on, every time you load the project, it loads through everything in that. So for a large project that you've been working on for a while, it can end up taking quite some time. 
This becomes annoying when you're only using like a third of the stuff you initially placed in your timeline, which is quite standard for me over the course of a project. In Vegas Pro, there's a handy button that removes unused media. What an obvious and useful feature, but it's not there in Media Studio. The solution is to copy-paste the entire project into a new timeline. What an inelegant solution. It's like we're still living in the Stone Age or something. Also, Movie Studio tries to help by loading up with pre-made video and audio tracks, which only serve to confuse things if you know what you're doing. It's a simple case of selecting them and deleting. But again, one more thing you have to do every time, and I can't find a way of disabling it. And it looks like the velocity option's missing, but I didn't notice that until now, so I don't think it really helped me much. Velocity let you fast forward video playback by up to 1000%, while without it you're stuck stretching or skewing things only up to 400% in one go. So I guess having the velocity feature would save you time if you're making super condensed time lapses, but I never trusted it as much as the conventional method anyway, so no great loss to me there. And the last exclusion is the mask feature. This lets you blank out bits of the screen. It's simple, it works, and the alternatives are a lot more time consuming. I loved using the mask tool when I was showing a clip from YouTube and wanted to hide the videos and adverts down the side. Look, done in just a few seconds. Without that I'd have to mess about with the cookie cutter tool, and that feels nowhere near as robust. One unexpected downside that I can't really blame Magix for is that Movie Studio is more incompatible with most of the tutorials out there for Vegas. It's no secret that the Pro software is widely pirated, and so most YouTube tutorials are done for that particular version, and this can sometimes lead to problems when following them in Movie Studio versions, like how you have to enable or disable various advanced internal options to prevent the software from crashing every two minutes. I still managed to do it eventually, but it was just a bit more difficult than it was with Pro. So anyway, those are the things I've noticed in the month or so that I've been using Movie Studio Platinum for. You can definitely survive on it, but it is a shame to miss out on some of the quick and easy time-saving tools that Pro ships with. The forced resampling is a sin, an unforgivable sin, but the rest I understand as being stuff that basic video editing programs don't require. I never really thought of how a video editor was supposed to tier their products. I wonder if there's a more elegant solution. If I'm honest, I don't see myself as an expert at Vegas. I'm an expert at what I need it for. I can make what I want with it. It hasn't stopped me from making odd grub, or skin showcases, or some crazy 8k upscaled masterpiece. To make these things, I've used some of Vegas's features extensively, but there are other features that I haven't even touched in the 10 or so years that I've used the program for. It's always strange to see somebody else using the program for the first time and already using stuff that I haven't bothered with. I ask myself, would it benefit me to learn these things? But then I see that I achieved the same thing in a different way, so it doesn't really matter. I don't feel the need to learn every single feature in the program just for the sake of it, so it could be that there are other, more elegant workarounds to these missing features that I simply haven't discovered or haven't thought to look for just yet. But jumping from Pro to Movie Studio definitely required me to change some of the ways that I use the program. I know already that people in the comments section will be spamming it with stuff like, wow, Vegas is a pile of rubbish, use Blackmagic or Premiere Pro instead. Yeah, like those programs don't have their own problems or issues. I'm wary of listening to people like that who may or may not have used Vegas themselves, or whose recommended products might not even be better for me than Vegas is. Besides, after having used Vegas for so many years, I know how to use it. It would take me months, if not years, to get as proficient with another program. Yes, sunken cost fallacy and all that, but it's an important thing to factor for me here. I rely on Vegas for my living. I don't really want to make the leap unless I don't have any other choice. I would say if it ain't broke don't fix it, but Vegas is somewhat broken. It's just that I'm good enough with it to know how to fix it. It's maybe not something that people can appreciate unless they've been using a certain software for as long as I have. And a lot of the issues I face I have only encountered because I've got good enough at what I do, and on this particular software. In short, based on my experience, I can only tell you which Vegas product would be best for your means. Movie Studio Platinum allows me to make my kind of content, but Pro lets me make it with a bit less effort and with a few more features. We're not talking star fades or cyclical rainbow colours here. Movie Studio Platinum has that kind of stuff already. Instead, Pro contains basic, powerful, helpful features that help you in very specific but occasional situations. If you're looking to edit videos, chances are you'll go straight for the most expensive option, or Premiere Pro or whatever, like that's going to somehow make your videos the best out there. But if you're going down the legal route, you can save yourself a fortune by opting for Movie Studio instead of Pro. Hell, you can buy that and still have money left for WinRAR.